We are here with Texas Instruments at Electronica 2024 in Munich, Germany, and we're talking about Edge AI. And Edge AI is something we talked about a lot on the Electromeca show. Predictive maintenance is something that we talked about a lot as well, but this is different because the C2000 series of MCUs have been in production for years from Texas Instruments. They can do real-time precision motor control, but for the first time, built into the chip is Edge AI and the possibility of predictive maintenance. So this is, this is quite a big deal. So we have a, a, a demo on show here. Would you like to tell us what is happening here and how it differs from the way motor control has happened with Texas Instruments in the past. Yeah, definitely. Hi, Ian. So C2000, as you said, yeah. has been used for real-time uh, control mm -hmm. for decades. Yeah. In fact, it's the go-to microcontroller for motor control. Yeah. What TI is doing now, it is really changing the game yeah. by bringing in Edge AI capability yeah. into the same microcontroller that is also doing real-time control. Yeah. So what we have here is we have the C2000 microcontroller mm -hmm that is running the two motors real time, controlling it, while at the same time, the, it's also running the Edge AI, which can then do fault prediction. And fault predictions like a fault in the motor, or bearing, or unbalanced uh, fans in case of a motor, that is what it is doing. Absolutely. And, and, and the key here is, is the term Edge AI. We're so used to so many words flying around that sometimes it can be easy to forget what that means. This is uh, taking real-time data from the motor as it is working and it is doing all of the inference offline. We don't need any external connectivity. We don't need to wait for any cloud kind of stuff either. But um, Edge AI in and of itself is, is quite a complex task. You're having to inference over models and you already have a motor controller that is doing a fairly heavy real-time task. So is there any kind of uh, in-chip offloading happening to make sure that everything keeps running smoothly when predictive maintenance is happening. Absolutely. Yeah. As you said, traditional AI is run on the cloud mm -hmm. and where you have heavy duty processors, huge compute, yes. and that cannot be run on the edge. So what we have done here is we have re really put a tuned hardware accelerator yeah. alongside the C2000 MCU. Yeah. So all the neural network computation mm -hmm. is offloaded yeah. to that hardware accelerator mm -hmm. while the C2000 MCU is doing the motor control. Yeah. That's, uh, th that's kind of the main thing. I think for people who have maybe been working with this chip for years, one of the main questions is going to be, is this going to affect the way that I work with the chip already? As you say, it's, a, it's the go-to chip. It is a trusted chip. Um, and I suppose a similar question would be for those people who have been working with the, uh, with the series of MCUs for a long time, they may be used to working with it in a certain way. They may have a tool chain in place. Is the AI section of this integrated into the same tool chain as working with the chip in a normal setting? So we are offering a complete AI tool chain. Uh, typically for an AI model, you first need to collect the data, you need to train it, have a model, and then that model goes into this device, which is what is running and inferencing faults real time. So TI provides a complete tool chain. You can train the models off chip, either on cloud or in your PC, and once that model is trained, you can then uh, have it on our device that is running uh, edge AI um, real time. Absolutely. And, uh, and I suppose my final question would be, um, if someone was wanting to start to uh, integrate this into their designs and start working with it, what's the best entry point? Is there, um, is there a development, hardware development environment for getting started with this uh, series of chips now that they have this edge AI capability? So we have a complete SDK along with an EVM. Yeah. So you can take the complete hardware kit mm -hmm. along with the complete software and AI tool chain. We also provide um, a few models mm -hmm. that you can start using. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, I mean, the starter kit is absolutely available immediately. Absolutely. And, um, and as always, anything that we've talked about in this interview, I will make sure it is linked underneath the video. And uh, there will be an accompanying blog post that takes you through all of this, including links out to where you can get the EVM, where you can get the tool chain, and find out everything else there is to know about it. Thank you so much for that comprehensive introduction to this. And yes, it's quite exciting times. Thank you so much. <laughs>